Hello Strategy fans. In this video I'm going to talk about a move called the finger. This in particular applies to border reinforcement style games but actually it's a pretty good tactic to use um, in almost any type of game. Firstly the proper military term for a finger is a salient. It is where you have a position that juts out into the uh, enemy territory. Notice that we have a fairly well established border coming through here. Uh, this type of situation is ripe for a finger. What we're looking to do with a finger is make an excursion into the enemy territory in a way that yes, it does end up increasing the number of border territories that we have but because of our strong hinterland, we have a reasonable chance of resupplying almost all of these. Also, by breaking past this built up uh, borderline, we then get into the softer hinterland through here, where we can start to wreak a lot of havoc. They're probably not going to be able to fully mop it up because their hinterland just doesn't have enough force. Say this square, for example, after we've reinforced it, it may have... Um, it may have six spots in it. Now, if they attack with everything that they have into this spot, not that one, sorry, then they may, and uh, not that one, because it's only a one spot. So they have essentially six dots in order to attack into here. Now, the chances are, there's a pretty good chance that they're not going to be able to retake that, and they're going to exhaust their supplies in here, and then what's going to happen is they're going to have to then, uh, at the end of their turn when their reinforcements arrive, they're going to end up having to build reinforcements in all these surrounding territories here. That because the hinterland is now soft and ripe for the opening, um, you can actually start attacking off and making fingers off the fingers. Reinforcements are going to be diverted away from the front lines along here, so you can look for uh, more opportunities to create even more fingers. To look for a situation where you have one enemy territory that you have multiple attack vectors onto. Uh, this one here is almost ideal because I have a 10 spot here and a 7 spot here. Okay. So my first attack is going to be from the weaker, um, the weaker position of mine. The chances are you are going to get wiped out. Okay, I'm just going to have happen what happens here. What this has done is now created a weak point in the defense that I can start to exploit through here. Okay, and then from here I can then move on into and do whatever I like in the hinterland. So this is what the next attack looks like. Okay, so now I have attacked from here into there. So this is uh, the full path. First the attack from here, then the attack from here, and then round um, into here. Uh, what I was obviously trying to do was to um, probably attack into here if I had any forces left uh, in order to create a split. So by splitting the enemy's forces like this, if I'm able to maintain that split and keep these two sides, uh, this side here and this side here, separated from each other, then that seriously impacts the amount of supply that the enemy is going to get. So fingers are not just about increasing the number of bordering regions, they're also about creating um, the potential for splits. Now, uh, for the addition of one, two, three four um, extra border provinces for me. Uh, the enemy now has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new border provinces. So let's see what I did next. Um, okay, so what I did was I identified the opportunity for another split to occur. So I attacked out of here, this was the weaken attack, okay, and then this was the actual uh, punch through attack, okay. So after this attack, I still have a couple of guys in here, which is fine. But the important thing is, is I now have a full seven spots in here with which I can wreak havoc in the hinterland. I think what I've decided to do was to 
try and go for a split. Okay, it didn't turn out quite as planned. Um, I didn't quite manage to get my split. You can see that I made an attack into here that failed. But what I've done is I've now enveloped um, these three enemy provinces in here and I've created quite a big problem now with this ring if he's not able to fully clean up this ring then I'm going to be able to look for opportunities um, off here or here uh, or here to create a split so this is what it looked like close to the end of the enemy's turn um, you can see here that their reinforcements are starting to arrive so they were able to uh, tidy up um, only this one province in the split. Now all their reinforcements are basically going to land in here and here and here and all around here which just makes them so weak that now I can I can pretty much take them. I'm definitely going to be able to apply pressure for a split in here. You might think this is a pretty canned example because I already had such a big advantage. Even when I had one third of the regions and the enemy had two thirds, I was still able to win the game by using the finger strategy and causing breakthroughs into the softer hinterland and pushing the enemy onto the defensive. Hope you like it.